but for trade businesses, service businesses, I'm going to tell you why it is essential that you have to post more often. It is essential that you cannot post once a week and think it's all good. Let's get in, into it. What is going on everybody? Doreen Collective is the name of the channel. Doreen Collective is the name of the business. I help small to medium sized businesses scale with local SEO strategies and marketing. All right, let's talk about it. Let's, this is gonna be an easy one. This is gonna be a quick one. I promise I will not hold you guys up. Posting content. Why do you need to do it? And most people can't stand it. I know, I get it. I didn't grow up in this era. I'm not into being on camera. I've heard every, every possible excuse. You know, I manage a couple of social media accounts. I'm the manager on quite a few accounts. And the reality is posting is essential. You, you have to post. And I'm not just referring to social media. I'm not just talking about IG, you know, TikTok. I'm talking about YouTube. I'm talking about your Google business page. I'm talking about LinkedIn, right? I'm talking about your Facebook page. I am referring to any place to where you have a digital presence and your audience is, is there, <laughs> you need to be posting. Because just like email marketing, text message marketing, which I, right out of the gate, I already started working on with a lot of my clients. Consistency is the key. Just like with working out, just like getting your reps in, you have to keep showing up. Am I the biggest fan of waking up early to go to the gym? Not really. Do I know the end result? Yes. That's what keeps me getting up when that alarm clock goes off. That's how you have to look at it when it comes to your content. The end goal is you are providing value, value, value for current clients and future clients. The more value you can provide, that now builds trust and it shows that you are an expert within your field. So once you do offer your services, you have a backlog of consistent value that you've been delivering day in, day out. Is it work? Absolutely. Because you have to, when you look at it from value perspective, when you look at posting from a value perspective, you have to put a little bit more thought. You have to put a little bit more time into what you're going to be posting. If you are, I'll use plumbing again <laughs> because I'm, I've, I recently worked with a new plumbing company and I'm getting a better understanding of, oh, these are areas where it can really improve on. But this goes across the board for anyone in the trade business or anyone providing a service. The rules still apply. That's why I always say, hey, if you're in a trade business or in a service business, the rules still apply. Let's talk about SEO. The more you post, the more consistent that you are, you are telling those algorithms, hey, show more of me. Hey, boost me up a little bit. That is another strategy, which is requires us a little extra work, but it's not difficult to where if you want to start ranking this a little bit higher in your visibility, the consistency of posting needs to go up and adding value, 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 because these algorithms are very, very smart. They listen to what you're saying. They're listening for keywords. Uh, they are combing through the title. They're combing through the description. All of these things are going on. So if you're lazy in the title, you're lazy in the description, or what you're saying on the actual piece of content is serving of no value, you get a little, you get penalized for it. So that's why it requires when I'm, <laughs> when I'm editing down uh, content for a client, or if I'm even before editing, if I'm shooting content for a client and I need to do it, we need to do it over and over again, or if the, the script has to be of a certain way. The dialogue has to be of a certain way. I'm looking for you to, to hit certain keywords and hit certain phrases. All of it matters. It's not me trying to, to wear a director hat. It is because I know when this gets posted, I know the certain keywords are gonna hit. I know certain description is going to 
give you a green light. All of those things help you get in front of eyeballs of new customers or reoccur some recurring customers that maybe you've done work with in the past. And that's another thing. Just because, okay, you've done work with them and you don't hear from them anymore, it doesn't mean that they're not interested. It does not mean, oh, they don't want your services. Life got in the way a little bit. They forgot, you know, there's just so many other things going on. But if you can continuously get in front of them, continuously say, hey, we're still here, we're still working, we're better than ever. Oh, I, I forgot, yeah, I do need X, Y, and Z. Think You have to think about these things. So, and that is a way that you can start optimizing your local SEO just by being consistent with posting. Now, well, I don't wanna do it, that's, that's not my job. Okay, I understand that. That's usually where a team comes in, that's where usually I come in, <laughs> okay, and taking over the whole account to where you're consistently getting your post, they're scheduled out, you know, okay, th because, okay, how many, how many posts did I do a day? Honestly, anywhere from three, possibly five pieces of content per day. And that's across all of your platforms. But if you want to really make a mark with your business, it's about three to five pieces of content per day. Consistently, 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 each delivering value. Can you handle that? And if you can, if the answer is no, or I don't want to do that, that is why you hire a social media manager. That is why you hire a marketer. That's why you have your own business. You know, you have your own business because you're not supposed to do all, all the jobs. You start delegating, you start outsourcing. Your job is to bring everything together and scale. But getting, but let's get back to posting and your content. But Three to five days, three to five times per day. Consistently, consistently, consistently. Some is long form, some is short. You know, we're not even talking about ads yet. We'll get into that in the next video. But just that alone, you know, will already start to trigger, okay, let's put a little bit more attention on this company. Let's put a little bit more attention on this business. Is it gonna happen just immediately overnight? No, it's gonna be a work in progress. But the more you do it, the more you get consistent with it, the more Google, other platforms start web crawling and start finding those keywords and start finding the name of your business, it does help, it does make a difference. And this is how you can get in front of your customers. Because we all know, including myself, I have a short attention span. <laughs> If you don't catch me instantly, I'm moving on to the next. Come on, we've all we've all done it. We've all seen it. We have to get the attention. Boom. Okay. Now I'm interested. All right. Show me what you got. Same thing with your clients. You have to constantly, constantly, constantly keep them, keep your business on their mind. You're posting. You're emailing. You're sending a text message. You're not bothering these people. You know, you do it in a way that is you know, conducive and specific to how your business is run. And that's why communication is so key. And that's why I really go over these things and say, hey, let's have a dialogue here. Give me an understanding of your business. Give me an understanding of type of demographic. What have you been doing? What have you not been doing? So now when I come in, I know, okay, this is the strategy we're going to start to take. And this is how we're going to start approaching things. But you have to get in front of their, you have to keep their attention. I listed text messaging, right? Your emails, and then posting on all of your platforms. All that takes work, all that takes time. And yeah, you should not be having to do all of it you, because there are options. You know, there's Doreen Collective, there's, op, there's ways that you can get this done and not have to worry about it. But it's gonna require you to, to take some effort, to take some initiative to say, okay, I want to get this done. I need to reach out to somebody to help me with this. I think a lot of times as business owners, and I'm guilty of it, I did not want to, I wanted to do everything, right? And I realized, okay, if I want this thing to grow, if I want this thing to become how I envision it, I have to let go of some of my power. 
I have to realize I'm not strong in certain areas and there are people who are better than me in certain areas and I need to take heed to that and acknowledge that and delegate some jobs and say, here, you're better at this than I am. You do it. <laughs> and it's the same thing from the marketing side because there's a, miscon a misconception that marketing just requires a website, a business phone number, email, and I'll slap some stickers on a truck there we go. Ta-da, we're ready. And I'll post occasionally, I'll post when I remember, I'll post some before and after pictures and, and that's it. That is the quickest way to see nothing. It is a job, it is a mission, it's a journey. It is, it's gonna require dedication, commitment, just like when you're in the gym. You're trying to get swole, you're trying to get jacked, you're trying to put on new muscle, it's not gonna happen in a couple of months. Or you're trying to lose that 50 pounds. How long did it take you to put on the 50 pounds? You're not gonna lose it in a week. But over time, if you're consistent, if you keep on showing up, the results start to happen. Then that compounding effect happened because you see the results. Okay, let me refine it even more. Let me get more strict, okay? Let me be more consistent. Maybe I can add an extra day and then it just keeps on going. It's the same thing with marketing. It's the same thing with digital marketing, same thing with local SEO, same thing with the content. You have to show up. So I'm gonna leave it right there. I can keep on talking on and on about this. More videos are on the way. Hit the comments, shoot me a message, any questions. How are you marketing your business? What steps are you using? How is your local SEO strategy? I, I wanna know because there's some of you guys may be out there, it's like, look, I'm great. Okay, I wanna know what you're doing. Let me know your strategy, share it. More videos on the way, let's go.